Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, and we're going to come together again to read God's Word together. Um, again, we're, we're in Proverbs, we're in chapter 9 this morning. I'm just reading uh, that now from the New Living Translation. Let's hear God's Word. Wisdom has built her house. She has carved its seven columns. She has prepared a great banquet, mixed the wines, and set the table. She has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. She calls out from the heights overlooking the city. Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, come, eat my food and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you. But correct the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. A woman called Folly is brash. She is ignorant and doesn't know it. She sits in her doorway and on the heights overlooking the city. She calls out to men going by who are minding their own business. Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, stolen water is refreshing. Food eaten in secret tastes the best. But little do they know that the dead, how dead they are. Her get debt. Her guests are in the depths of the grave. Amen. It's another chapter which, on the face of it, might look slightly insulting when it talks about the simple. It might also be very complicated as well. But the author is talking about saving faith and saving knowledge. How we are invited, how God invites us to his banquet, to feast with him. That's all about salvation um, and how we are called and then how, when we have that salvation, how we grow in wisdom. And again, it talks about, you know, there's no point trying to tell somebody who doesn't believe what's going on in that you, you can't instruct. Someone has to come to the banquet first, allow God to change them, and then they grow in their faith and knowledge. So again, it tells us that the only way for our faith to grow is for our faith to start and, and, and then it will grow from there. And then how we can help one another, how we can learn from one another, how we can teach one another. Probably the greatest verse in that chapter is, fear the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Fear there is not fear as in afraid of getting um, put down, fear of getting... Um, repressed as such but fear as in reverent fear as in respect as in knowing who God is and what he has done for us it's giving God his right place in, in our lives putting God in the first place because that's where he deserves to be and then how everything else starts to fall into place after that you know it is about how we order our lives each day isn't it we talk about getting the right um, work life balance um, how, we, how we spend time for our family, how we spend time for ourselves. In all of that, the first place is God. How do we spend time with God? One of my friends um, put up recently, what would it, would it be like if we treated our Bible like our mobile phone? That we didn't leave home without it. Um, that we were constantly looking at it and checking it, constantly reading it. Um, if whenever we got our screen report at the end of the week and told us how long we had spent on it, how long would we have spent on God's Word? You know, by, by reading it, we start to learn more about God. And, and whenever we've, we've started on that journey, whenever we've trusted God, it's about how we increase in our knowledge, how we increase in how we should live our lives um, and, and how God wants to teach us in that way. And it's th through this that we do that. So again, just take some time to read that chapter later on and just to reflect on it for yourself. 
But we're going to come and pray now. But as we do so, just let me mention to you that this Saturday, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening, we're going to have 12 hours of prayer for our land, for our nation, for our key workers, for everything that's going on around us. And for those who are suffering, those who are having a hard time, those who have been bereaved. What we're going to do is, um, if you'd like to sign up to, to do it, we're, it's not going to be online or anything like that. I, I'm going to post something at 8 o'clock in the morning just to get us started. And then at 8 o'clock at night as we tie it together at the end. But if you can join us for that, if you want to sign up for like a half hour slot where you will pray at home, please um, send me a message or drop an email into myself or you can call me and let me know. Um, and then a couple of us are going to coordinate that together. Um, there'll be some prayer points which will be coming out as well. Uh, and again, we will post that on Facebook. Hopefully we'll post it on the website as well. Uh, and, and if you need that, then we can give you a call to give you those prayer points as well. And if Saturday doesn't suit, if, if you're really busy and, and you can't fit in a slot to get, but you still want to do it, let me know. Um, and if this rolls over into Sunday, then that's fine. We'll, we'll continue it on Sunday as well. But we just feel a burden uh, that at this time we should be praying for what is going on. So Saturday would be <clears throat> our time to unite and to do that. Uh, and just to cover our land, our nation, our town um, and our people in prayer. So I'll leave that with you and you can get in touch. For now, let's pray. Father, thank you that knowledge of you, fear of you, respect for you, realising who you are, that you are God. It's the start of our journey of faith with you and that it's the foundation of true knowledge, the knowledge of who you are and what you've done for us. Father, help us to start from that point and then help us to encourage and help one another as we read together, as we learn together, as we pray together, that as we grow closer to you each day. And Lord, for those who yet don't know you, we pray for them that they would turn to you and put their faith and trust in you. So Lord, help us to encourage one another. Help us to spur one another along. Help us not to be hard on each other, to judge one another, Lord, but rather to walk with one another, uh, realising that we're all at different parts in our journey with you. So, Father, we thank you for that now and always. And go with us now, in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. See you again tomorrow morning, same time. Till then, take care. God bless. Bye.